The Hyperlab is the first digital humanities research center in Carleton University's Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences. It was built with grants from the Canada Foundation for Innovation and the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council. We explore ways to tell stories with new media, like mobile devices, location-based services, and digital games. In today's media ecology, getting the full story means navigating between printed texts, audiovisual recordings, websites, and social media. It's a major challenge to get old and new media together into the spaces where people actually live, work, and play. Every book, journal, and film is surrounded by a cloud of virtual data. We're developing ways to merge analog media with digital information. But humanities research doesn't just take place in libraries anymore. We want to turn the archives inside out and map them onto the world. The Forgotten Worker Quest lets you relive the 1820s as an Irish immigrant working on the Rideau Canal. You have to locate tools and complete tasks while avoiding explosions and malaria outbreaks. It's a scavenger hunt, a history lesson, and an interactive tour of the canal site all in one. People's access to public space varies depending on their age, gender, or ability. With spatial storytelling, you can explore the world literally from different perspectives. You can layer the past onto the present, but you can also layer imaginary spaces over real places. We've designed a diminished reality interface that strips away the real world and shows all the possible futures that might have been. location-based game, you have to navigate real space and virtual space at the same time. The question is how to make compelling mixed reality experiences that still tell a good story. Lansdowne Park shaped the social life of early Ottawa, but lately the community really hasn't had much input into the park's destiny. We want to let people uncover the park's history together and reimagine its possible future as a public good. We started out mapping historical and fictional spaces. Now we're working with poets, journalists, architects, game designers, environmentalists, and educators around the globe to build experiences that map their unique perspectives onto the world. We're mobilizing knowledge in the most literal way possible. 